in their main senses. We cannot understand what is Krishna or God, His name, His form, His attributes, His pastimes. We cannot understand by these blunt material senses. Then how it is to be understood? After all, this human life is meant for understanding God. That is the only business of human life. The nature, material nature, gives us this opportunity to uh, have this human form of life, the uh, facility of this life, of this form of life is given to us just to understand God. Other forms of life, cats and dogs, trees and so many other things, there are eight million four hundred thousand forms of life. So in other forms of life it is not possible to understand what is God. Uh, if we call all the dogs of the your country, eh? come here, we shall talk about God. No, no, there is no possibility of understanding. But in the human form of life, there is possibility. Doesn't matter whether it is in India or America or Australia, any human being. Uh, if he tries and if he uh, reads the scriptures, never mind Bible, Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad, then he will understand God. The beginning of this Srimad Bhagavatam, Janmardasya Jataha, absolute truth is that from whom everything has come into existence. Now, what is the nature of the Absolute Truth? Uh, everything means there are two things, matter and spirit, two things. Uh, just like this table is matter, and we, living entities, we are spirit, the spirit soul. This material body is my covering, just like dress. Every one of us is dressed, covered by some, some kind of dress. Similarly, all living beings, they are dressed by the material covering. So we, the spirit soul, part and parcel of God, at the present moment, we are covered by two kinds of dresses. The subtle dress, mind, intelligence, and ego, and the gross covering. Subtle means we know there is this thing, but we cannot see. Just like you know I have got mind, I know you have got mind, but I don't see your mind, you don't see my mind. I know you have got intelligence, you know I have got intelligence, but we don't say, don't see what is that intelligence. Simply uh, identification, I am this consciousness, that also you have got consciousness, I have got consciousness, but we don't see. So things which are not visible to these material eyes, that is called subtle. And spirit soul is still subtle. Uh, so uh, human life is meant for understanding that spirit soul and the supreme soul. The in Krishna consciousness, the, the process is to get beyond the disease of material existence. Yes. The first part of his question: How to do this? Second part of his question, what is the end result after taking the process? The, the process is to uh, mm, 
transfer yourself from material energy to spiritual energy. We are under energy. The God has got two energies, material energy and spiritual energy. We are also energy. We are marginal energy. So marginal energy means we can remain under the material energy or on the spiritual energy as we make our choice. Marginal, just like on the beach, you find sometimes they, on the border of the water, the water is covering the land and sometimes the land is open. This is called marginal position. Similarly, we are marginal energy of God, living entities. So we can remain under the water, means the material energy, or we can remain open all and spiritual energy. What, what is our uh, view of Lord Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, he is, he is Son of God, the best Son of God. So we have all respect for Him. Yes. Saint Francis, uh, the founder of this particular order, yeah, which we have been invited to speak to, found God in the material world, and he used to address the aspects of the material world as brother and sister, brother tree, sister water, uh, like that. Uh, what is your view upon this? The real God consciousness. This is real God consciousness. Yes. Not that I am God conscious and I kill the animals. That is not God consciousness. To accept the trees, plants, lower animals, insignificant ants, even as brother, samasarve shuddhuti, so this is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Brahma bhuta prasannatma nasochati nakankati samasarve shuddhuti, so sama, sama means equal. To all living entities. To see the spirit soul, anyone, it doesn't matter. Either he is man or cat or dog or tree or ant or insect or big man, they are all parts and parcel of God. They are simply dressed differently. One has got the dress of tree, one has got the dress of king, one has got the insect. That is also explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Pandita Samadarshina. One who is Pandit, learned, his vision is equal. So, if Saint Francis was thinking like that, there is higher standard of spiritual understanding. <laughs>